بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم پہلے طلباء آج ہم پلیز کو پڑھنا شروع کر رہے ہیں تو آج سب سے پہلے ہم جس پلے کو پڑھیں گے وہ ہے دا بیئر دا بیئر بائی اینٹھن شیخا دس پلے از اباؤٹ ہیومین نیچر ایز آئی ٹول یو ارلیئر دیٹ لٹریچر از آلویز اباؤٹ ہیومین نیچر لٹریچر ہمیشہ انسانی فطرت کے بارے میں ہوتا ہے اینڈ دس پلے دا بیئر از آلسو اباؤٹ ہیومین نیچر ہیئر فرسٹ آف آل وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس دا ٹائٹل دا ٹائٹل از دا بیئر دا بیئر از این اینیمل so it's the name of an animal the title first of all we will see where the title is used in the play sabse pehle hum dekhenge ke title play mein kahan istemal hua hai the title is an abusive word used by popo of simona abusive word the title is an abusive word used by popo of simona title ek abusive word hai اور یہ پپوا نے سمرن آپ کے لیے استعمال کیا تھا وین سمرن آپ سیز ٹو پپوا دیٹ شی ہیز بریڈ ہر سیلف ود ان دا فور والس بٹ شی ہیز ناٹ فار گٹن ٹو پاؤڈر ہر فیس اے وی نو دیز گیمس پپوا گیٹس اینگری ایٹ دس مومنٹ اینڈ شی کالز سمرن آپ بیئر Bourbon monster. So the title is an abusive word. In the text, it is used by Papua for Simanav. When Simanav says that he has not, she has buried herself in the four walls, but she has not forgotten to powder her face, Papua gets angry and calls Simanav beer Bourbon monster. So the title shows Papua's anger. for simana popoa's anger popoa's husband has died and she has buried herself in the old four walls of her house and she has decided not to take part in any social activity after the death of her husband whereas simana comes and he says that it is all hypocrisy on the part of popoa popoa gets angry and call simana beer bun uh, bourbon monster and beer so it shows that popoa popoa is angry so the title shows anger of popoa for simana the second thing about the title is that the title is also ironical it is ironical because papua abuses simana she is also a human being papua is also a human being and she calls a human being being beer she is also a human being when some human, human being calls someone else a monster a beer the title is also applicable to him because she has also same human nature she is also a human being so the title is ironical because it is also applicable and uh, is referring to papua as she is also a human being the title is also suggestive it is suggestive of man's nature or man's instinct the difference between the instinct and human nature is that we can put off human nature for some time but we cannot survive without fulfilling our instinct the title is suggestive of human instinct in asian countries asian mamalik mein جو بیئر ہے اٹ از سیٹ ٹو بی اے ہائیلی ٹو بی دا موسٹ سیکشل اینیمل اینڈ اٹ از سیٹ دیٹ دا بیئر کین ناٹ لیو ود آؤٹ سیکس دا بیئر کین ناٹ لیو ود آؤٹ سیکس سو از دا کیس ود مین مین کین ناٹ لیو ود آؤٹ سیکس اور مین کین ناٹ لیو ود آؤٹ 
method. So the title is suggestive and it is suggestive of the main theme of this play which is man's instinct. In this play, the writer Anton Chekhov wants to present humorously whether man can live without sex and or marriage. So we see two cases in this point. We have uh, the uh, uh, we have the character of the Popova here to suggest who has decided not to marry after the death of her husband, and we also have Simonov, the antagonist of this play the hero of this play. We see that both decide not to marry but when they come across each other they decide finally to get married. So we see that man cannot live without marriage, man cannot live without sex. This is human instinct. So the title is suggestive of the theme of this play which is that man cannot live without marriage. Man cannot live without sex. So we can say the title is very apt and suitable. So this is the first thing that we study about this play. <coughs> the title. Closely connected to this title is the theme. So what is the theme of this play? The theme of this play is that man cannot live without marriage. Man is a social animal and he needs marriage, he needs sex to survive, to live in this world. It is his strong nature, it is his instinct, it attracts him. Whenever there is the demand of instinct, man has to say yes to the demand, to the call of nature, to the call of instinct. So we see this is the theme and this theme is presented through the main conflict of Popova and Simona. There is Popova and there is also Simona. Through the character of Popova and Simona, we see that the theme of this play is presented. Popova is a widow. Popova's husband, she is only 26 years old and her husband has died. After the death of her husband, Popova has decided not to marry again. Popova ne ye faisla kiya hai, wo dobara shati nahi kare. So in this play, the theme is always presented through conflict. We have a play and structurally the play has normally four major parts. The first part is known as introduction or exposition in the technical language. Exposition. In the exposition, the main characters are introduced. The main characters are introduced. And with the introduction of characters, there is also the introduction of the conflict of this play, which is the second part of this play. What is conflict? There is two types of conflict. Conflict means two theories, two opposite theories are at war with each other. Are two opposite thoughts, two totally different thoughts, are two parallel thoughts, we can say. They are with war in the play. Here we have two types of conflicts which are found in this play and there are two types of conflict. Internal conflict and external conflict. Here the both types of conflict is found. Internal and external as well. Internal conflict is in the character of the play. Papua Popova has an internal conflict. We may have a separate question on the character of Popova. Write a note on the character of Popova or write a note on the conflict of the character of Popova. So Popova has an internal conflict. Popova is a widow. Her husband has died and after the death of her husband she has 
decided not to marry. Here lies the internal conflict. We know man has a nature. Man cannot live without marriage. So in this play, we want to see whether Papua keeps up what she says or she decides to marry. We want to see whether Papua marries or she does not marry. This is what is the main conflict of this play. This is the theme related conflict. Man can live without marriage or man cannot live without marriage. So we see internal conflict in the beginning of this play. Papua comes and she announces she is not going to marry again. Luca, her middle-aged servant, comes and advises Papua to take interest in life, to go to social meetings. There is a regiment beside. She should go and see them. He also gives his own example that his wife died and he wept for, her wife, for his wife for a whole month and it was enough for her. Ye itna kafi tha uske liye ke wo uske liye roya. He says her, his old woman died too and he wept for her for her for a month and it was enough. Or was keli ek me hina roya or ye kafi tha. So he wept for her for, for a whole month. So he gives his own example and says to Papua to take interest in life, to take interest in in other people go and see someone else he also says to him to her to take interest in life sit on the horse and go where papua is not ready to go anywhere rather she shows her love for the horse which is the horse of her late husband and he orders luca to give extra feed of oats to to the horse of her late husband Nikole Mehlovich. Nikole Mehlovich is the name of her late husband. So this is the internal conflict. We want to see whether Papua decides to marry or she does not marry. Then there is also external conflict in this play which is the second part of the play. The first part is the exposition. The second, the second part the conflict. And there is external conflict too. In the meanwhile, there is a bell at the door and Luca goes to see. And he comes with the Simanov. The very first entry of Simanov is very humorous. He comes abusing Luca. And then he talks to Papua very politely. And Papua says not to disturb her. People do not let him rest. However, Simona is a very straightforward person. He is going to kiss the hand of Papua, but Papua doesn't give her, him his, her hand. Whereas, Simona does not mind at all the very behavior of Papua, which is not acceptable in their society. Rather, he comes directly to the topic for which he has come there. And he says to Papua that, he has been in acquaintance with her late husband for some months and he used to buy oats from her, from, from him. He used to buy oats from him. So Simanav says that he has not received the last two bills. He was yet to pay 1200 rubles. Rubles is the name of a Russian currency. So she has not, he has not paid him the remaining amount of money, 1200 rubles. So he has come to get back his 1200 rubles from her. Papua says that she will definitely pay the money, but she doesn't have the ready cash at present. Now the conflict between Shimanav and Papua begins, which is external. Simona demands the money, whereas Papua refuses. He demands the money, she refuses. Simona says he is in dire need of his money and she is not ready to pay. 
what should he do should he die leaving all amount to his creditors then he says no he will have to get the money however he beha behaves impolitely papua is not ready to pay she says she will pay him work when her steward returns but simana says he can't go without getting the money he has visited many of his creditors and none of them paid him no he was to pay interest on a mortgage property tomorrow he needed the money desperately so that is why he can't go without getting the money papua says he doesn't know how to talk to women and simana starts making fun of her how do you want me to talk to you in french jos pride madam no he starts speaking french adab or the madam what should i do i am in debt and they will take my property away and i am here how look how beautiful you look in morning dress tum kitni khoobsurat nazar aati ho morning dress mein so we see that simana talks to papua in a humorous manner and he criticizes her too no papua says no he doesn't know he is indecent he is he is indecent uncultured papua criticizes simana simana says that he has a very long experience of women he has refused 12 women and nine of have refused him he has also fought duels on a uh, three times he has fought duels three times on the court of women he has approximately 24 love affairs are 24 relationship with women and even then he does not know how to talk to women then he says he starts criticizing all women he starts criticizing all women he says all women great or little are backbiters envious liars to the marrow of their bones pakki pakki jhuki hai he says there is not a single woman who is true in this world men are suffering and suffering endlessly and women are playing with their scarves or with their pets so we see simana is very bitter towards women he criticizes all women here the criticism is general the criticism is general whereas papua also gives the example of men she says then who is sincere men he says men are sincere in love she laughs and then she cites the example of a late husband she says the best of all men she knew was her late husband and what he left her alone for weeks and he made love to other women and when he died she found a whole drawer full of love letters look at the best of men look at the best of men no simana after some more criticism he says that she has buried herself but she has not forgotten to powder her face of was he i am still true to my husband even after her death and i will never marry in future whereas simana says to papua she has buried herself but she has not forgotten to powder her face hey we know these games you are doing all this to to attract men so here the criticism becomes individual no it is on the character of papua directly here the criticism was general simana criticizes all women whereas papua criticizes all men citing the example of her late husband so the criticism is general but when papua says 
she will remain true to her late husband simana says she has buried herself but she has not forgotten to powder her face here the criticism becomes individual and is directed on the character of kokova which which she minds when the criticism is general we do not mind but when the criticism is directed on us directly we mind we we feel ashamed we feel disturbed we become angry and simal kokova also becomes angry when simal now critics criticizes her directly when he teases her directly she calls him beer bourbon monster she abuses him when she abuses him simana says you will have to pay for what you have insulted me for what you have done now he challenges her to fight a duel and kokova accepts the challenge she says i have a pair of pistols left from my husband she goes to bring the pistols when she goes to bring the pistol simana is totally changed he finds that he starts liking him her he starts liking her we see that simana is totally changed he is in love with her he now thinks of different actions of kokova and he says how she reddened how her cheeks shone what a beautiful woman of a real woman fire gunpowder a real woman asli asli aur khalas khalas aur khalas desi ki ki bani so now we see that simana is in love with kokova he says i i i will not fight anymore in the meanwhile kokova comes and kokova says let's fight he says it's not a suitable place to fight the external conflict is half over because now simana will not fight we know but kokova is still ready to fight we can say the external conflict does not exist anymore kokova comes says to him let's fight and simana says it's not suitable place kokova says he will have to teach her first how to fire the gun so we have a typical uh, scene here which we which we we see in movies that he teaches her how to fire the gun in the meanwhile there is a tender touch no kokova says let's fight let's go to the park simana says no i can't uh, i'll not fight i'll fire in the in the air why are you fire there are you afraid no you will have to fight with me simana says no no why don't you want to fight no because it's my personal affair says simana he she says no let's fight but simana is not ready to fight because because i uh, because i like you simana expresses his love Papua says, "Hey, hey, hey!" He says, "He likes me." Go. That's the door. Get out. No, you can't go out without fighting. Now we see that Simana walks some steps towards the door. Then he returns and he comes back, holds the hand of the man, of Papua, and then he says, "What am I doing?" He. sits on his knees he bends on his knees and then talks to kokova oh i was also very angry what am i doing i was to pay, pay i am to pay my debt and here i am in love and talking to you like a uh, like a like a fool what velvet hand you have i i don't know what to say and he says that he has never seen such a woman before and then if you don't want to then he tells about himself i am a lord learned lord and a retired uh, a retired lieutenant of artillery i have 10 10000 a year he tells about his income i have some fine horses and also some stables 
So if you don't want to marry, okay, I am going. Then he starts walking to the door. No, she says, no, stop, stop. Where are you going? No, Shima now knows. Okay, I am going. She will not let him go. He knows she will not let him go. He says, no, where are you going? My hand is, is pulpered. Come and no Simanav approaches her. And the conflict which is there inside Papua is all approximately over. She doesn't know what to do. Marry or not to marry. She is not able to decide. In the meanwhile, Simanav returns and takes Papua in her arm, in his arms. So in this way, the conflict, internal conflict of the of Papua is also over. Luca comes and finds the pair, uh, finds the couple loving each other. Now, Papua says to Luca, Luca, don't give any extra feed to, to Toby, which shows that her love for her husband is over. She has no more love for the late, late husband and the conflict of Papua whether to marry or not to marry ends with her decision to marry Simana again. So we find in the end of this play that man cannot live without marriage, man cannot live without sex. So this is the theme of this novel. Now, while we discuss the conflict, we have another important question. Discuss the character of Papova or write a note on the character or character of Simanav. We can discuss this character while getting the notes from the conflict. So, a bit more about the character of Papova, the introduction. So, we have Papua. Papua is a widow. She is wearing mourning dress. Her husband has died seven months ago, ago and she has decided not to marry in the future. She is wearing mourning and is st standing in the front of the picture of her husband. So, this is a bit introduction of the character and then we have the remaining lecture which we discussed about internal conflict of Papua external conflict and then end. So in this way, you can make the uh, main theme, uh, main character of this play. You can solve this question too. We also have four major parts of the play. The first part I told you, exposition. The second part is conflict. Then the third part is climax. So we did discuss exposition. We also discussed conflict. And then we have climax in the climax when Simana and Papua fights, it is almost the climax. But when Papua goes inside to get the pistols, here we have the solution or the final part that is denouement and we have the final part and the conflict first goes to the climax and then it falls gradually to the end. This is also known as denouement. And then we have the end. And in the end, Popova decides to marry Shimana. In this way, the, the play, the period comes to an end. Now we have some more questions relating to the beer we have it's uh, we call it uh, the structure of the play or uh, the category of the play we have discussed the structure and now we have the category it is it is a comedy what is a comedy comedy is a play which focuses on the weaknesses of common human beings Weaknesses of common human being. So here we study nature of common human beings. We study the nature of common people 
we study the nature of papua we study shimana we also study luka so we see that men cannot live without marriage and we also find a lot of fun and laughter in this play so in a humorous manner the play exposes the weaknesses of common human beings this play the beer is a farce a farce is a play in which the humor is sometimes without purpose without any criticism there is no bitterness in the humor so we find a lot of humor in this play whereas there is no bitterness in this play we find Papua's character funny we also find Simona's character is funny we also find Luca's examples and we find we find his discussion funny too from the time when Luca uh, when Simona enters the play the dialogue the discussion between Simona and Papua creates a lot of fun creates a lot of humor creates a lot of enjoyment so all this play produces a lot of fun and laughter so we can say it is a comedy and in detail if you discuss the summary focusing on the examples how weaknesses of common human beings are exposed humorously you may focus on Papua's criticism of women you can you may focus on Luca's Luca's examples you may also focus on Papua's example of a late husband so these examples will show how much comedy is there in this play so we can say that this play the beer is a farce is a comedy or is a farcical comedy so these are some of the typical issues relating to this play the beer